Sacred Heart Primary School in Mildura. It's a beautiful day. The kids are out doing a weekly activity and this week they're learning to make bricks. They learn the whole process from shredding the paper, soaking the paper, then putting that mush into a little brick form, squeezing the water out and then drying the brick. It's a lot of fun. So let's go explore what they're doing. Hey guys, so are you looking forward to brick making today? Yes. Yeah, is it fun? Yes. And what does it do for the environment? It helps. saves the like, bricks, yeah, instead of chopping down wood and we're, in, and we're reusing the paper that like, people yeah. use to, like if they use too much and they're not going to use it all, they just like chuck it out. Like cutouts, we use everyone's cutouts that they've used in classes and everything. So you're not wasting paper? Yeah, no. and, and it's cheaper to buy for paper, like paper bricks then. Who likes getting wet? Oh, I love getting wet. Oh, I want to get wet right now. Okay. Well, you don't have to get wet. I want to. Who likes getting dirty? I love getting wet. I love getting wet and dirty. Rosemary, these kids are having so much fun. What are they doing? Oh, look, they're going through the process of brick making. The whole process that's involved. From the shredding of the paper, to the soaking of it, to the making of the brick. They're also playing a little game that reinforces the whole concept of why we do it. You know, the whole conservation concept and the recycling concept. The boys make bricks every single week. And those bricks, they make really, really well, professionally, according to their new standards, which they set. And they're going to sell those bricks. <laughs> this is just the way we're working so we don't get confused. The groups move around. If they've been shredding, they go to soaking. If they go soaking, they go brick making. If they've done that, they go into the game. They go into the creative activity. Okay. Which do you reckon's the best brick of the lot? Uh, um, probably that one. That one. And which one's the worst? Um, probably this one because it's got like scrambled paper and it's just collapsed and it's got way too much water in it. The recipe for a good brick is every time you do it, you squeeze down and layer it up, and then uh, at the end, it, you just let it dry and it becomes a good brick. So it needs to be tightly squeezed. Yeah, each time you put the soak paper in but it has to be like level with each other but if it's like that it won't turn out of the brick and you go to squash it and then you get to the top and it's uneven. Push it again and again as much as you can. The more you push the nicer the brick turns out. So the less water that's in the brick the better. That better. Yeah. Tell me one great thing you can do with a brick. Put it in a fire to make it burn. How long does the brick last? Two to three hours. Everybody pick up lots of paper. Clean our area up. Here we've got the box. And we put them in there, and all the worms will eat that. 
so I'd suck at food and when they ate, of course I'd have to poo and that poo is actually called casting. workload involved with this kind of process? Well, we check it every couple of days. We keep it moist and um, put water through it and it comes out this drain hole here and into the bucket. And then we bottle it and label it and it turns into this worm juice. So Alex, how long does this process take? Around about two to three weeks. What's that worm juice used for? It's a, basically a liquid fertiliser for your garden to help everything grow. Awesome. If this is um, like all compost nearly, we take it out there and we put it into one of those compost makers. Ooh. Well this is our compost tuppers that we um, make the compost. And that's what the compost looks like when it, and that's all broken up food scraps as well. It does the same job as cow manure but it's not as dear. Is it cheap to make? You have to buy one of these. Yeah, all you need is your old food scraps and sandwiches. But you don't put meat in there because that attracts the maggots. It just sits in there and breaks down. And what's it good for? Um, it's really good for your garden. It's used as fertiliser. That's the finished product? Yep. It nearly looks like orange juice. <laughs> I don't think you'd want to drink that stuff. But it's great for the garden. Yeah. Gardens love that. Gardens love that. Yep, they do.